Hey beauty addicts, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a hair tutorial of this hairstyle. This is what I was wearing in my cranberry makeup tutorial, so I thought I would share with you how I got this hairstyle. For this hairstyle, you will mainly need clear little tiny bands and then bobby pins if you need to touch anything up. So the first thing that we are going to do is make a braid crown, as I'm going to call it. So we're going to have a braid on each side of our head at the very top. So you're just going to grab a piece of hair, pull it back just to make sure it's the right amount, and then you're going to use two fingers and you're going to separate the hair because we are going to be doing a braid. Now the first section of the braid is going to be kind of like a French braid and then it's just going to go down into a regular braid. So you're just going to start threading through like you would a normal braid. And then that front piece that we have, you're going to grab some hair from the front of your head, just a little bit. And once you have that piece, you're going to start braiding again. So you're going to bring a, another piece through. And with this next piece, you're going to take a little bit of more hair into that piece. And then just kind of repeat the process with about two more pieces. You want to make sure that when you're doing this uh, French braid, you're kind of bringing the hair back towards the back of your head. You don't want to do it too much off to the side because then it might look clumpy. So just be aware of that. You want to check every now and then just laying down your braid against your head just to make sure it is the right look for you. And then once I'm done doing that, I just go and do a braid. I don't want to go too far back with the French braid, so the rest of it I just do a regular braid. And I braid all the way to the bottom of my hair, which is very long as you can see. So I'm like trying to keep it in frame, but it's just not going to work. So then I take one of those little clear bands, and we're going to wrap it around the bottom of that braid. I do about three um, wraps around with that band. All right, now I'm going to pull the braid back just to make sure that it looks fine so it looks good to me. So we're going to move on to the other side and pretty much do the exact same thing. On this side, this is the side where um, my bangs, I mean, I don't have bangs, they grew out. So it has a little bit more hair on that side just because of where my part is. Um, so I'm just going to add, I'm just going to have a little bit more hair on that side, but it's no big deal. So you're doing that two finger thing again where you're going to separate that piece um, into three sections. And then you're going to braid them, and then the front section, you're going to take a little bit of hair um, that you haven't taken already, and then put it in, in with that piece. And then you're going to start braiding again, and then repeatedly just grabbing some more hair with each piece. Um, and then you're going to do a French braid. I would go back maybe a couple more times. Don't go too far back with the French braid, because eventually you're going to want to just do a regular braid. So now I'm moving into the regular braid, and I'm just going to braid all the way down to the bottom of my hair. Um, so this could take a while, especially if you have really long hair. Now, if you don't want to go that far down because you have super long hair, that's okay. The main point is that you want to make sure that the braid goes around your head and kind of towards the back. But the rest that hangs, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be a braid. All right, so now I'm just securing the braid with another clear tiny band. I'm going to wrap it around three times to make sure that it stays secure. Now I'm going to take both braids and bring them to the back of my head. And then we're going to use another clear band and then just wrap them together. Um, so you're going to only have to wrap it twice just because you're adding in more hair. So just make sure that the braids are laying on your head the way that you want and then just secure it in the back. Now we're going to pull our hair all into one side. It really doesn't matter, but I pulled my hair to the right side just because my left ear has um, a cartilage piercing that I could put in. So I just decided to put it on the right side of my head. I'm going to take two fingers and I'm just going to create a regular braid. There's going to be nothing exciting about this. Um, you also want to make sure that the braids that you have tied in the back blend in to this braid as well. Or that you have them secured with bobby pins so that way they're not like sticking out all weird. Um, so then you're just going to braid this hair all the way down to the bottom and then secure it with another clear band. So on the side opposite of the braid, I'm just going to pull down some of the hair. I'm also going to pull some down by the braid too as well. Just getting any little pieces of hair that I have to hang down. I'm used to my hair being down, so I like having some pieces hanging. And then it makes it look a little bit messy too. So now I'm just taking a blonde bobby pin and then just putting down an area that I want to fix. So just fix wherever you need it. You may not even need it at all. That's it for this video, beauty addicts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like this video if you've liked it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!